And another reason I think that fourth dimensional wavelengths are uh, real uh, is because, well, it's just another realm of space. And there's objects there. And what are they made of? They're made of like holographic uh, film strip material, kind of like this. Kind of like this shirt. That's why I have uh, this shirt as a film strip to remind me of the law of attraction. Um, and it's a space space time shirt. But space time isn't a, a term that I use anymore. I know Einstein coined the term space time, but time's not real. So, And time is not the fourth dimension. So I'm not going to call it space time. And I mean, then what does he consider the fifth dimension like? space timelines like space time is more than just the third and the fourth dimensional axes but um i think that you know fourth dimensional wavelengths uh are a really easy concept to understand once you realize that fourth dimensional objects behave like third dimensional objects they're just holograms and everything's kind of just a hologram projector uh from source like basically source is the energy projector and it projects through a shadow um, and the film strip is, uh, the frames of time. I'm gonna find another, the frames of reality. Yeah, the frames of reality. What, a tesseract. A tesseract is a bunch of, is two 3D boxes, and a 3D box is a bunch of, uh, two-dimensional, uh, kind of film strips. Think about it, like a book. All the, the film strips are the pieces of paper. And then the 3D object is the book. 